Today we're looking at example 5 out of section 6.4 optimization and best fit curves out of business calculus in Excel. This time what we're looking at is an example where you can't do it by having the trend line because we want to use a model other than one of the six that were given us. The basic setup is we have cash on hand and money in the bank. We get interest on money in the bank, but cash on hand stays fixed. So someone has given me a table of values of how much I have over time, and I'd like to figure out how much cash on hand did I have, how much did I put in the bank, and what rate am I using it. I can either do the long version or the short version with just variables. I set it up like I would set up these things before. So I have my year, my amount. I've set come up with a value for cash on hand to deposit and the rate to start with, there's a predicted value, which is cash on hand plus money in the bank times the growth factor raised to the power of the amount of time. I've started out by saying 5,000 and 5,000 sounded good. I'm going to look at the error and then square the errors, and I'd like to minimize this. So I'm going to go to my data select solver. I'd like to minimize E36. I get to change the three values B20, B21, and B22. I'm going to allow them to be negative if possible, but we simply want to solve. And what I wind up seeing is that my cash on hand that I'm starting with was about $926 I put $9,000 in the bank and I got almost 5% interest and that gives me the best fit to the data that I've started with. Looking at my errors, most of my errors are just to the level of round off errors. I was within $10 in all of the amounts and so that convinces me that this is really what I started with. Um, if I change any of these numbers up or down, my error is going to get worse. Thank you.